a Jeep Wrangler front bumper build for under $100, sign me up. What is up guys, I'm Kyle at Fortune Off-Road. In this video, we're building a front bumper for the YJ. Now, the real trick here is trying to figure out how to build this bumper with mostly the parts we already have, some scrap metal in the garage, and then some new recovery points. So my goal is to get it to be under $100. I already have all the metal, and I only had to purchase the tie-down attachments for the front of the bumper, and so far, we are well under $100. So when I first bought this Wrangler, it had kind of a homemade uh, two by four bumper that was kind of just bolted on to the frame in the front. On top of that, it has a winch mount and a fair lead that's pretty stout and all of it looks like it's quarter inch. So what I'm hoping to do is kind of just trim that bumper down, cut it lengthwise and kind of put some more angles in it. That's going to do a couple things for us. Number one, it's going to lighten it up. It's going to make it stronger and it's also going to make it look better, I think. So this bumper right now is perfect for running into other cars or crashing into rocks and trees and it could protect everything and protect those tires. But for what we want to do with the Wrangler, we want to be able to have an approach to those rocks that the bumper is not going to interfere with. So I want something that's much narrower and I want something that has a little bit more clearance and some angles on it that will help push the bumper around if we are to hit anything and help us get back on track. So everything looks pretty straightforward. We're going to be using quarter inch, which the front bumper is made out of, 3 16ths for all of the angles. And then we have some milled steel for for our shackle tie downs on there. So let's get started. Right, so here's where we're at right now. I just put the winch up there, just kind of mocking it up to see what it's gonna look like. We lost some height down there, which is good. So now everything's sitting kind of flush. And then I cut those wings off. You can see uh, we've got a really thin bead right here because I'm gonna have to grind that down. We're gonna do some cardboard aided design right here. Put a plate right there. This three inch hole saw to cut a hole out of a plate. And then that's gonna be the plate that goes up here to the frame and ties it into the bumper for a little bit more strength. Cause I didn't get to weld on the back side of this. But overall the winch is looking a lot better lower like that. It's not a whole lot lower. It's maybe like a quarter of an inch lower, but I, I think it looks better. 
digging the angle so far. You can see we've got these holes right here. That's where those mounts were before. They just looked like this and they were just bolted in there. They went all the way through. So on the back side, I just welded up some plates and put those in. But our new ones, I think are pretty slick. Check these out. These are from Rough Stuff. They sit up at an angle. I already measured it out on the bumper. You can see this little dot right here. Kapow! And there you go, drop test for you. It's gonna cover up that hole a little bit. Now I see I've gotta cut a little bit more off the edge. They used to go back way further. They're gonna hang out like that. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. We'll have a full cool D-ring coming off there. One on the other side to cover up that hole. So yeah, we just gotta take a little break here. Big picture, I think it's looking a lot better. Sorry, my garage is thrashed. Working on like three projects again, as usual. Got nothing in front of this tire so we can hit those obstacles and have all that clearance. So that's a lot better. And luckily the wiring has been really helpful. I've been able to just move the winch over onto the tire and sit there while we do this project. So, all right, next thing is to weld these caps on. We'll have to weld the D-rings on. I'm glad I didn't do that already because those ones are too long. And then we'll paint, mount everything up. We should be good to go. Fast forward on this and we have really been making some progress. We've got everything welded up, the bumper, the caps, and then I tied it in around this like circular thing that goes through the bumper, but I didn't want to cap that off because I think we might run a sway bar there later and don't want to miss out on that. But that's pretty much it. That's the basic look. Um, it's got some primer on there and then we used Rust-Oleum semi-gloss black, which is usually my go-to just because it's so easy to touch up and everything. Um, pretty shiny right now because we just threw that paint on there. It's a couple coats and it looks all right. We've got some pretty good welds on there though. I feel really confident in it. We weren't able to weld up the backside because it was so tight, but between this end cap, this cap, and that angle down there, I feel like it's pretty strong. Pretty fair amount of welds on those tie down points. Our last part is going to be throwing this winch mount and fair lead back on get everything bolted up going to grab some new bolts for the side just so we have some fresh ones and i know they're going to be grade eight still a bit of a mess in here and we've got to get everything patched up quickly because we actually have a trail run this weekend so we kind of just have this part painted and then i think the next thing we're going to do on the yj is what i've been talking about for a while and that's redoing this front suspension getting these shackles worked out all that stuff just re-spooled the winch it's nice and straight on the line now just gonna let this cure overnight and then we'll assemble it all and we'll get it outside and take a look at it maybe washed up So we finished the bumper and just in time to get it outside and cleaned up so we can go down to our trail run this weekend. And I think the bumper turned out awesome. Not only is it cheap and probably half the weight of the original bumper, I think it's a little bit stronger and it looks a lot better. Those tie down rings that we got from Rough Stuff really added a, a good look to it. And I like how those shackles are up above the bottom of the bumper because that way they're not gonna be swinging and hitting the bumper all the time, making that noise. And they're also not gonna be getting caught on anything. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think it's always a little bit more rewarding to have something built. And I know it's gonna be tough enough to use for that winch mount, use for those recovery points. We're gonna take it out this weekend and I'm looking forward to having that huge approach area. We've got a lot of stuff coming for the YJ. This bumper was kind of like a prerequisite for our stretch because we're gonna move the mounts for our spring hanger and our shackle hanger forward. If you wanna check out a video of our YJ wheeling, we've got a video of sour grass that we did previously and now the Molina Ghost Run coming up and Molina is down at Hollister Hills. They're gonna have a ton of obstacles on there. And I have a feeling I'm gonna to wanna to try pretty much all of them. So definitely stay tuned to check out that video. I think that one's gonna be a lot of fun. Guys, thanks for checking out our video. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. See you guys next time.